Hello again. This week we've got a special bedtime story. Let's get right to it. Matt had been itching to get some since he had landed in the theater of Iraq. As he and his unit were sitting around biop with thumbs firmly inserted into assholes. That sounds about right. They finally got the call that there were 70 plus bad guys waiting for a fight in a training camp out in the middle of the desert. They popped those thumbs out and beat feet to the action. They jumped in their chinooks and made a beeline to the wadi. Approaching the objective, they witnessed a fireworks show already in progress. Tracer rounds lit the sky like bottle rockets on the 4th of July. Rockets zipped past the birds still in the air, missing them by ass-puckering distances. Matt and his merry band of skull crushers button hooked out of the back of their chinook, running into the full force battle like a platoon of William Wallace's and blue face. Matt spotted a fighting position in the sheer rock wall at the edge of the wadi just in time to see the circular glass reflection. But then it was too late. He tensed his body and took the blast that sent him flying through the air in two different directions. He crashed back to the ground and his left leg it landed somewhere else. No worries. I found another one. I got a better one now. Bionic. He saw his tattered leg in the firefight but kept yelling out orders to point his men in the correct direction of fire. Doc ran over and started administering aid, but when someone yelled, GRENADE! Doc jumped on him to shield his already battered body from the blast. It detonated far enough away from them, they were both able to get back to the rear and kick ass another day. Don't worry kids, Matt's still doing badass stuff. Yeah, I'm a cop now and I joined the bomb squad. I guess I haven't learned my lesson. Yeah, it was a pretty fucked up day, but if you want to learn more, you can pick up the book, Violence of Action, in bookstores now.